this is the first video that I've made in quite a while, so it honestly feels a bit weird doing it. Um, honestly, I just don't really have much time anymore, and this is the first hike I've been able to go on. Actually, I had fall break and I went hiking with my parents, but um, the first time I've been able to go hiking the Smokies is in a couple months, and so I figured, hey, why not make a trail review video while I'm at it? So, um, I am on Little Greenbrier Trail in Wares Valley in Tennessee. Um, as you can see, the leaves are changing behind me and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to see if I can do this and walk at the same time. That might not work well, but we're going to try it. Um, I did this trail once this summer and really loved it. It's about, let's see, 4.3 miles, I think until it intersects with the Laurel Falls Trail, but that's like about two miles up above the falls. So if you wanted to continue on down, you would have, I think about a two mile hike down to the falls, which would mean two mile hike up, coming back, and then still the 4.3 miles back to the trailhead in Wares Valley. Um, it's a pretty straight uphill grade all the way to the top, about 4.3 miles. Um, but then that also means the 4.3 miles back is pretty much downhill, which is nice if you're into that. <laughs> um, 1.9 miles in, it intersects with, I forget the name of the trail, but I can go back and look it up. And so there's a kind of that junction there, which I'm going to come to here in a minute. And oh my goodness, look how beautiful this is. Don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but it doesn't do it justice. Um, so there are some options, and I think there's like a historical building or something if you go down that trail, but I don't really know for sure. Um, the grade is not super steep. It's just pretty constant for the most part. But look right now, like I'm walking on flat ground. That's not difficult. Um, I think in the wintertime, I'd love to come back and see it because there's so many mountains and whatnot. I think there'd be really beautiful views that you just can't get in the summertime. But the leaves are changing today, so I figured it would be a perfect time to come back and check it out. And that was an accurate assessment. Um, it's beautiful. Also, not too many people know about this trail. So, I've been out here for probably an hour or so, and I've only run it. I ran into one couple and another group of three. And that's all I've seen. Which, for October... Oops, just ran out of storage on my phone. I deleted some things, so hopefully that'll work. Anyway, for late October when the leaves are changing in the Gatlinburg, Tennessee area for the trail to be like empty and all to yourself, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So that's all the thoughts I have right now on the trail. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. But oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, it's not gonna let me flip it around. I struggle with technology, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. How beautiful. Y'all, God is so amazing. All right, this makes a lot more sense. So, Ware Cove Gap is where I started. That's 1.9 miles that direction up the hill. And then, if you go down that way to the left, you'll run into Little Greenbrier School, which I think that's the historical thing I was thinking of. And that's in 1.4 miles. And then Metcalf Bottoms is a really popular picnicking area. And that's just two miles that direction. And then I'm going to go up today to the Laurel Falls Trail where it intersects. I'm not going down to the falls. So that's 2.4 miles. And then Fighting Creek Gap is 5.5 miles. I did that one time. Um, but there's nothing really there. So it was... All the, oh, there was a fire tower, which I really wanted to find a fire tower, so I was excited about that. You had to go a bit off trail to get to it, but that was pretty cool. The only downside to that was it was locked, so you couldn't actually go to the top and see the view. I was pretty bummed, but anyway, that's there as well.